Uh, good morning. It is good to be here, sister and brother in Christ. Let us begin this worship service with prayer. Dear Lord God, Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning, ask you to open our hearts and our minds to, re to hear, receive, and accept your words. Allow your Holy Spirit to work in, in and through each of us. We seek your lives and grow through your words and truth. May the one true God guide and direct us, your church, as we go into our community with your word. Let our heart, minds, and hands serve all your children with the love you have taught us from this day forward. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. This is the 12th Sunday after the Pentecost, and we will focus on our gospel reading, which comes from the Apostle Matthew, chapter 16. Peter confessed Jesus as Christ. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea, Philippines, he asked his disciple, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they said, some said, John the Baptist, others said Elijah, and other Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona. And for the flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven, and I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the key of the kingdom of heaven, and over you bind on earth, shall be born in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Then he strictly charged the disciple to tell no one that he was cried. This confession embraced two positions. One, that Jesus is cried. Second, the divinity, the divinity of Jesus, the Son of God. When the Lord Jesus Christ asked his disciple, who do people say that the Son of Man is? They respond with, some say John the Baptist, and others say Elijah, and others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. We recall that the disciple have been with Jesus for some length of time now, and were out among the people, and they hear what they were say about this Jesus. So they reply to Jesus with the various opinions they hear, interesting opinions, but all of the marks as the bold preacher preaching rep repents, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, reminding people of the message of John the Baptist. Could Jesus be John rest from the dead? Or what about that earlier man of God from earlier, from earlier Israel history? Elijah. Elijah was a fearless prophet, a miracle worker. Two and Elijah was supposed to come to come before Messiah. Could Jesus be Elijah makes an in time visit? Or could it be Jeremiah? Jeremiah preached again full worshiping on at the temple during his time and suffered a lot of, of opposition for it. It sounds like, sound like Jesus, all this opinion miss who Jesus really is. One, one greater than any prophet is here indeed. Jesus is the one the prophets were all pointing to. Note that the popular opinions 
of the people were that they accepted Jesus as a, as a prophet, not honoring him as Messiah. Therefore, the people were intolerable to the statement which he made in regard to himself and admitting the Masonic claim. As our reading goes on, the Lord asked again and said, But who do you say that I am? Jesus here first and asked the disciples this question and gave them enough time and opportunity in which to, to form a new correct judgment. The popular answer of the proper answer of this of the heart to this question form the standing point of the true Christian light. Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of Living God. Then the Lord said to Peter, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for the flesh and blood has not revealed this to you. But my father who is heaven and tell you you are Peter. For the peer, for the peer in the order of apostle, first in the love of Christ, most forward and answer of ten times alone for all the rest. Before he was called Simon, now this name of Peter was given to him by the Lord, and that is in figure that he should sanctify the church. Jesus said this in his sermon on the, mat, on the mountain in Matthew 5. I am the light of the world. Jesus used the lies as a metaphor for all that he is good in the world. He is telling his followers that they are to bring the good news and goodness to people around them, indeed, to the world, to the whole world. This is also recorded in the Gospel of John, where Jesus said, Whoever follow me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of light. We further see the divinity of our Lord in John. Here, after Lazarus had died, Jesus went to Bethany, and he said to Martha, your brother will rise again. And Martha responded, I know he will rise again in the, re in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the light. He who believe in me will Live and even though he died, and whoever live and will and live in me will never die. Jesus was predicting his own death and resurrection on his, and he mean that anyone who believe in his, in him, will be raised again to the eternal life. Let us close with some. The Lord is my rocks and my patriots and my deliverer, my God, my rocks, in whom I take refuge, my chill and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord who is worthy to press and I am served from the enemies. God is refuge for the weary, rock for the confused, serve heaven for the lost. Our God is a strong tower we can run to when we are upright and holding. He is the one who can always count on. Now, know that the Father is surplus and the rock you can stand on. When we can get that perspective, your fear will fade into the distance and your emotion will settle to place of peace and understanding. Amen.